A horse performed a miracle by sensing that its master was not dead. Animals are so great, and we humans do not give them enough credit for being awesome. But this horse proceeded to tread on the coffin, and as the lid shattered, everyone around was surprised to hear something weeping. One of their most underappreciated qualities is their capacity to create strong attachments with people. Some animals are claimed to be so attuned to their natural and human environments that they can sense the aura of living things around them, and even know when a person has died away before anyone else does. The narrative takes place on the farm, in a tiny village in Iceland, where a 75-year-old man called Arthur has spent his full life with his close-knit family and an enormous herd of horses. Since both Arthur's parents were devoted animal lovers, he spent most of his childhood in the company of cattle, horses, and other house creatures. Animals are drawn to Arthur because of his natural ability to gain their confidence and respect. Arthur's favorite among the many pets he saw his parents care for was horses, and he would routinely rise before anybody else in the house to see to them, grooming and feeding them, and brushing their coats and lush manes. It was no surprise that when Arthur's parents died away, he inherited their farm and traditions, as seen by the horses, nays of joy whenever he visited the stable. When raising animals, Arthur didn't just focus on the ones that would sell well. Instead, he actively sought out the broken ones that no one seemed interested in. As a result, he spared many farm animals who would have otherwise been killed painlessly. There were so many horses on Arthur's property that when all gathered together, they appeared like an enormous sea of shiny coats. The farmer's life intersected with a unique horse when, at age 48, he was out selling horse feed and overheard a customer talking about putting down a young horse. The farmer had always been enamored with horses and recognized beauty in even the most unremarkable aspects of their behavior or their actions. After hearing this, Arthur hurried over to the horse feed dealer to inquire more about the mother and foal. The buyer informed Arthur that the mare who gave birth to the foal was extremely unwell and had most certainly perished away. The buyer said that the newborn horse was so weak and the delivery so painful that the mother had passed away within an hour. Nothing could be done to save the foal, which was underweight, had poor eyesight, and would certainly die within a few days. The purchaser went on to complain that spending so much money on the foal was making him broke, and they still didn't know what was wrong with it. Arthur's compassion prompted him to demand a look at the pathetic creature. His heart broke when he saw the foal for the first time on his visit to the farm. It was as tiny as they had indicated, and its eyes had the worst luck. Because of the animal's birth circumstances, Arthur was angry that its owners were already thinking about euthanizing it. When Arthur asked if he could buy the young horse from them, the other farm owner gave him an odd look, as if he'd suddenly had an extra head. Why would you that? The owner demanded, don't you see how pitiful and weak it looks? There's nothing you can do with this, and it likely won't last a month alive. No matter what the other guy said, Arthur was determined to take the orphan colt home. The owner didn't make much of a fuss, but he did warn Arthur not to come back and demand a refund after the young horse died. They swiftly placed the young horse lying on the farm, with a mournful expression on its face, into Arthur's vehicle, and drove to his farm on the outskirts of town after he consented. Though Arthur was familiar with caring for foals, he immediately contacted a veterinarian to examine the sad creature. A few miles outside town lies the vet's office where Arthur was instructed to take the foal. Even though the vet was far away, Arthur drove his vehicle there in hopes that they would be able to answer his inquiries and save the foal's life. After examining the horse and doing some tests, he groaned heavily, realizing that the poor animal probably wouldn't live to maturity at all and that it would be a miracle if it survived for more than a few months, or at most a year or two, with plenty of care and therapeutic lifestyle changes. Arthur remarked that he was willing to provide the foal as much patient care as possible for whatever long his life may be. Arthur, the devoted farmer, did all in his power to make the foal feel at home and happy. He even gave the little horse the name Alexia. However, the vet did say that a miracle was needed for Alexia to survive another year or two. By the end of his fifth year, Alexia had surprised everyone familiar with his backstory by transforming from a frail, fragile foal into a magnificent steed. He was powerful, swift, full of vitality, and hilariously childlike. The farm's workers and the owner's family joked that the horse probably saw Arthur as his true father because of how close they were. Arthur's horse accompanied him wherever he went, 
gazing lovingly into his eyes the whole time. Arthur always joked that Alexia would be healthy and happy as long as he was there since he cared for her so much. Unfortunately, a few years after Alexia was born, Arthur got extremely ill and could not care for the farm's animals as effectively as he had in the past. His wife and children took over animal care while he oversaw and did what he could. Alexia would trot softly inside each evening when he saw Arthur relaxing on the front porch and he would lie down next to Arthur for company. They began doing this in the mornings and evenings, but tragically, Arthur had a heart attack while working in his garden and despite his family's best efforts, no one in their little town could rescue him. The family soon discovered that Arthur had died away as he lay in bed unconscious. They bathed Arthur well and started the funeral rites required in their culture. They placed him in an appropriate funeral shroud and then a wooden coffin, taking him to the burial plot on his farm. As the mourners were making their way to the grave, they were surprised to hear the familiar name of Alexia being called after they had seen the farmhands going after the big horse, who had broken out of his stables after being locked up because the farmhands had underestimated his strength. There were many weeping individuals at Arthur's burial location, but the steed was quick and relentless as he followed after them. The group dispersed and retreated from the area around the coffin as they saw the big strong horse galloping at them. Alexia approached the casket and began violently trampling on it. The people realized the horse wasn't trying to be sinister and was unhappy about Arthur's death, but they also knew it would be difficult to stop it. As everyone stared in disbelief, the dog stopped stomping on it and began sniffing it instead. After a few seconds of silence, a man's cries could be heard from within the coffin, at which point Arthur shouted and remained silent. Arthur's family and the few friends who remained gazed at him in disbelief when he said he had nearly been buried alive. Fearful as they were, Arthur's loved ones were overcome with emotion and believed that Alexia had performed a miracle by sensing that Arthur was not quite dead. Although Arthur's account seemed astounding, a doctor who studied the case stated it was probably not a miracle and that he had probably suffered from catalepsy. This medical disease has symptoms similar to death, including loss of sensibility, consciousness and vital signs, despite being very uncommon. Who would have guessed that the feeble sickly fall all those years ago would be the one to rescue him from a terrible conclusion, thanks to the wonderful ties that Alexia and Arthur made and his detection that his master was still alive and spared him from being buried alive. Please tell us how this touching tale of an extraordinary bond between a horse and its owner made you feel in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more inspiring content.